Hello and welcome to the player prop video for Marquez Valdez Scantling and I'm your host Matthew Amato joined here by Jacob Wayne and if it's not clear if you're watching all these player prop videos it's pretty obvious that Jason left me with the worst ones <laughs> but we're gonna move past that and his selfishness and talk about MVS Jacob 36 and a half is his line for his receiving yards longest reception is at um well, I thought it was right here, but it's actually much lower now. <laughs> At 19 and a half, over under of one and a half, two and a half, depending on the sports book for receptions. We have two and a half at minus 125, a little juice. Pretty long touchdown odds. In general, MVS hasn't been the guy. I think a lot of people came into the season, especially with the injury to Miko Hardman halfway through the season, thought MVS would play a little bit bigger part. Hasn't been the case. Has come up with some clutch plays as of recent. Is he a guy you're even looking at for this game? Uh, no, not really. Um, in general, I mean, I, I think it's it's bad process to bet on a player over after they have their spike game. And last week was certainly a spike game for Marquez Valdez-Scantling. Um, six catches for 116 yards and a touchdown. Kind of the hero of that game as Travis Kelsey had his back issue, uh, Juju and Kadarius Tony both went out. Michael Harmon's been hurt and... Yeah, they were shorthanded. Um, they haven't been all year shorthanded at receiver. And, like, there aren't elite wide receivers on this team, but what, what's been, been so great for this offense is the unpredictability of it. And that makes it really difficult for betters. It's really tough to know on a week-to-week -week basis who it's going to be. And then add in the fact that Juju and Tony both enter this game with issues, with injury issues, and Michael Hardman's unlikely to play. But it, it's just a really murky situation, so it's tough. Um this is a very good cornerback duo, but the question for me is, are they going to play zone coverage? Because we've seen throughout the season that the Eagles have had issues when they play zone coverage. Both uh, James Bradbury and Darius Slay are outside of the top 30 graded corners in zone coverage on PFF, and that doesn't help MVS much. He's much better against man coverage when you can kind of beat his guy deep and pick up a big reception versus Juju Smith-Schuster, who's really refined route runner. Really good in that kind of short to intermediate area. So, I don't know. This just isn't a great matchup in general for MVS. It doesn't mean he can't have success. And, like, if those injury things are, are a problem, like, I, I can see him having a big game. I'm just – it's not somebody I'm targeting by any means in the player props department. Yeah, for me, in the – I mean, in the same light but not really, it's kind of the A.J. Brown process where if I am going to put MVS in any kind of bet slip, it is going to be longest reception over 19.5, and, and it's going to be off the basis that I think the Eagles try and play some man, try and get pressure on Mahomes, and they let MVS get one deep. Um, I don't think there's really a point in betting his receiving yards or receptions for that matter because if you're expecting that kind of game script, like you said, I think it's going to be a lot more Juju, a lot more Kelsey. If they do line up man for a good portion of this game, I, I, then I do think MVS can get a long reception. I don't think at minus 110, it's honestly the worst play. Um, similarly to how I felt about a lot of these player props, I, I'm not that interested in the unders, though. I think his receptions unders, if it truly is a clean bill of health for basically everyone on the Chiefs, Maybe I could see the under being a value. I mean, it, what is the current juice on just receptions as I navigate this extraordinarily long player prop list on DraftKings? It's only at minus 105, so not even plus odds. If it, maybe if it feels plus 125 for under two and a half receptions, I could see it. But plus 100 on FanDuel. Slightly better. Still, yeah. still not where I want it to be. Yeah. Um. Because there's quite a few games this year where he kind of snuck in and got that third reception. <clears throat> um, yeah, all in all, he honestly has hit the over 19.5 launch reception at a good rate this entire year. And I feel like his usage, obviously, in that last game was quite higher. But it's been two weeks. Seems like everyone's healthier. I think there's a lot of questions on what Philadelphia is going to throw at Mahomes. And it also is probably going to change throughout the game. So... In general, I think outside of Isaiah Pacheco and Kelsey, we haven't loved a lot of Chiefs props, and that story continues here. I, I wish I could fill this video with more information, but I, I don't have too much. You got anything more, Jacob? Yeah, something else I wanted to bring up here is I think there's a, a solid chance we see the Chiefs play more heavy sets, uh, 12 personnel, 13 personnel, get some extra tight ends in the field. Noah Gray and Jody Fortson 
preferably from them. So by doing that, you're putting in more players who can chip and block against these elite pass rushers that the Eagles have. But, you know, with the way that this offense is run with their uh, the versatility and underneath um, quick passing game, like, they can run those heavy personnel and, like, still have a very elite passing game. We saw that earlier in the season when they played the Niners in that elite defensive line. They ran a ton of um, heavy personnel, and they still had an elite passing game in that. They put up 44 points, and the Humps had a great game. And I think there's a good chance they try a similar strategy here. And obviously with that, you're seeing a lot more per packages with two, even sometimes one wide receiver on the field. And with the different options that this team has, um, that's just another reason that Marquez valdez scantling might see fewer snaps. Um, he just wasn't even really producing like before last week which made last week's performance even more surprising. He's been under 30 receiving yards in... He was under 30 receiving yards in six straight games prior to last week. So, yeah, I, I, I kind of like the under here, to be honest, the more that I think about it. But I'm not rushing to play. I think Mahomes is a good game overall, and like all it really take is one big play for MVS to, to kind of screw that up. But I, I think I lean towards the under, under receiving yards. Uh, I think it's at a good spot at the number it's at because... Yeah. I do think that there, we are going to see some big plays in this game. And like I said, I, I can see MVS getting one catch for 35 in it. Um, but I don't hate it. I would go, again, under receptions if you can find some good value maybe. Um, I don't think any sportsbooks are offering, but under on total snaps played might be a fun <laughs> one with what Chico just said. Um, I, I wish that wasn't offered because I do kind of predict that same thing, Jacob. Um, a couple guys that we're not talking about, Justin Watson and Noah Gray, uh, maybe I'll shout them out as alternatives to MVS props. Is if you find some really nice value, they may play more than I think most, especially casual bettors, are going to be expecting in this one. I, Noah Gray, so close to first TD score earlier in a long shot that I had a call out. And I, <laughs> I honestly think, as someone who has the Kelsey TD props, I'm going to have that moment where the big tight end catches a touchdown, everyone's celebrating, you're like, wait, that's Noah Great guy. <laughs> Darn it. Um, yeah, that's going to that's gonna happen. Um, I I mean, you know, this is the Marcus Velda scaling video, but I definitely like the value on plus 850 for Noah Great to score a touchdown here if, if you're interested in that as well. So there you go. It's MBS slash Noah Great video for you, and that's going to wrap <laughs> things up. As always, if you like this video, drop a like. If you did not eat this, like we were talking about pretty much all the most popular player props having a video for each player, so check those out on the channel. Check out the NFL player prop page on lamps.com to compare and contrast odds across multiple sportsbooks. Maybe get you um, to odds that you feel comfortable betting some MVS props. Comment down below your favorite bets, and we'll see you for the next one very soon.